Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. I get a lot of requests for a lot of different things, but in the last couple years, um, I've never had more requests and, and people asking me, when are you going to review the Vessel Players 5 and the 5 Pro? So I got my hands on the Pro because I think it makes more sense um, of, of what these guys are trying to achieve. So we've tested it, we've gone through a couple rounds with it, I've walked with this, I've also used it on a pull cart and also nine holes on a power cart, and want to kind of give you my thoughts, what I like, um, are the things we don't like, and is this back to being the king of the premium standbacks? So first thing I noticed when I got it, I I've only used the players for the standard, not the pro. So I can't reference everything to the players for pro. I'm just going to reference it to the standard players for, which is what I use for the last couple of years. So the first thing I noticed when I opened this up was the size of it. Um, it, it was the top is way bigger um, than I anticipated. Um, not in a bad way just different um, and what I'll do is I will walk you through how I kind of keep my clubs and then I'll show you a comparison of the top just so you guys get a better idea of really where I'm coming from so for me this top it has a 7 way or a 14 way this 14 way is very different I'll put pictures up of the standard 14 way without all my stuff in it so you get an idea of what it looks like but when I originally, and my point is when I originally was ordering it, I didn't know if I wanted the 7 because it's very kind of old school, traditional, or the new 14 way. And I, I, I like both. Um, but I went with the 14 way and I wasn't really sure. I was apprehensive because the 14 way is a little different. It has kind of two slots at the top. And then we'll kind of go how this works. But I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. And this may be the perfect setup for me and, and I'll kind of get into why I said that as we go here but let's get into the length of the bag it's right about 36 inches 35 and a half is what I did when I measured it it's right around 7.2 pounds uh, I, and again I know people get caught up on the weight factor this is not a bag I would want to walk 54 holes in so if you're looking for a golf bag to walk every round in, this isn't probably what you'd want. I would suggest, if you want a vessel, the player's air, and I'll grab it real quick here. You know, I think this is probably the better option um, in the player's air side of things. Lightweight, super easy to use, um, has almost all the same features. So, top is 14 way sections you guys see how I have it and I'll tell you why I have really liked this top first thing is I always carry some type of apparatus for camera or um, if I can find my ripstick so my ripstick or my camera apparatus usually goes now right into here which is awesome because the old way I'd have to take out my four iron and kind of jam it into here, which then it was kind of interfering with my driver, if that makes, or in here, so it would interfere with my driver, if that makes sense. So this set up for a 14 way, and yes, you could put your driver next to here if you carry more than three woods, it's perfect. What Vessel has done, which, which I, I don't think anyone has even really suggested in their marketing or, or anything, they have spread out this top. So they've taken their traditional 14-way top and kind of gone every direction. So what, what does this do for you? Well, the guys who complain to me, uh, and probably to all the manufacturers, my big oversized grips get stuck in this. You're not going to have this problem. And I'll take my clubs out to show you guys here. I'll just put pictures up of what it looks like. You're not going to have those problems. So it's a bigger top, much easier to get the stuff in and out. Um, a way more simple system, I would say. Um, and, and again, I, I think when you look into the refinements that Vessel has done with this golf bag are second to none. Um, this is a better view of the top. So as you can see, it's 
much more spread out, still leather lined. Um, this will hold, I think at some point, uh, later this fall or early winter, um, they're golf cart bags. Um, I don't have mine here, it's in the other room. You can get this apparatus to hold your clubs in order, and I'll put pictures up of it. This bag, the pro version, will be able to accept that uh, it's called device, mechanism, whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, they're much, and you can really see with these, they're much further apart and much wider to really accommodate all those larger grips. They are all, because people ask me all the time, they are dividers go all the way down. There is a, a new version of their umbrella, which I like this little, little uh, snap version. You can see it goes to here and to here. I like it. And the old one for those because who will ask, um, the old umbrella loop has kind of this system in place, um, which was okay. So they've gone to that system. Again, I'm not a huge umbrella guy, so it's not a major difference for me. With that being said, the material on the Pro, and this is the old non-Pro, is definitely to me, worth the value just to get the pro for the material. So if, and I'll put pictures up, and obviously this is a white bag versus a black bag, but this is a nice material, don't get me wrong. It is not a bad material, it's the synthetic tour. This is a pebble grain version that it just, if this is a nine out of 10, this is a 10 out of 10 material wise. Really, really nice. Obviously you're paying a little more of a premium for it, but a beautiful golf bag. So. This is a metal, kind of a shinier finished, uh, I would say for your towels or range finders or whatever, your speaker, like I had mine, I just took it off. Put your speaker on here, really like it. This is where, uh, as they say, the rubber meets, meets the road. I've done a lot of golf bag reviews and there are some bags I love from day one and some I love it a little less. This is to me uh, the Flying Spur, the Rolls Royce, the Bentley of golf bags. It is um, unequivocally some of the highest quality and standards than you'll ever come across in any golf bag. And the reason I say that is because when you see leather handles and poles like this, you just don't see it. You don't see it in the industry. Yes, I know this has an expensive price point. We'll get into all that. But, so let's get into this. Magnet on this leather, it's a huge pocket. It's, it's literally, you can see where my hand goes to. A huge pocket. I love this. And so if you flash back to when I did the Player's Air review earlier in the spring, one of the things I mentioned, and I'm not saying the team at Vessel watches my reviews because they probably don't. Um, one of the things I mentioned, I would love to see bags be, have more magnets. I think I'd love at some point to see this entire bag be all magnets, but I will tell you this, I had a manufacturer of a golf bag reach out to me maybe six months or so ago. And I had two other manufacturers of golf bags reach out to me within about the same 30 or 60 day window. And they said, the cost of man magnets are so expensive that if you were to convert zippers to magnets in a golf bag. You're probably talking between 30 and $60 a bag in cost just for magnets. So why stupid me thinks, why can't you put magnets everywhere? There's a price point um, to it. So anyway, my point is I love this. I think this is one of the best features. I love this handle. It's leather. It feels luxe. It feels like nothing else um, in the market. I absolutely love this. Huge pocket. I love this this pole, um, my wife said, did you steal this off of one of my bags? Like this one, but I love, I mean, this is such good stuff. Oh, and dummy, dummy me, who loses his keys after every round, um, a great little place for your key. So I really like what Vessel has done. You know, I, I always think, and I'm not a, a pessimist by any means, but I always think, are we at the point, like with iPhones, like is this the point of a golf bag this is the best we're ever going to see, you know, two generations ago. And these guys continue to come out with great bags. So anyway, <laughs> vessels embroidered here. I think that's fine in white. I have no issues with that. Um, it is what it is. This is one of my favorite things in a vessel bag. This little mesh pocket, I'll take pictures of it here. 
I put my golf gloves in there. There's also a little valuables pocket in here that you guys will see. They still give you locks and they give you two locks. Maybe they screwed mine up, but I have two locks. I don't really use it, um, but it's a nice feature to have. Again, we've talked about if you wanna hide your wallet or your Patek, Patek Philippe uh, or whatever you're wearing that day, it's just a great little feature to have. So a huge big pocket. It's one of the things that I love about Vessel more than any other bag is storage. And this time of year, this is November for me, I have rain gear, I have hoodies, I have vests, and, and I have hats and scarves. I hate being cold and wet, so I love to put my storage, my stuff somewhere, so I like the storage of the vessel bags. <laughs> Hear that zipper. AquaGuard zippers on all of these. It's fantastic. There is a little pen loop here that's got a little, I don't say it's magnet, but it's got something. One of the things that I, I, I don't want to re be remiss about is there's a pass-through here um, for your card strap. So if you're riding an electric car like most of us do, the, cart go, the strap will go through here. They also, which I think is very cool by Vessel, um, they send you a card strap with every one now. Um, regardless how you order it, you get a card strap and it goes through and keeps your bag looking new forever. That was kind of the first complaint, or the first year of complaints with Vessel was, Oh, the card strap is ruining my cart. Well, it's, it's a synthetic material, and yes, you have nylon rubbing against it. It will, but I think they've done that. They also do this little tag here. Um, to be fair, I will take this off at some point. I just haven't yet. Um, I like it, but I don't need it. It's kind of a neat little tag to kind of, if it's identification or a bag tag or what have you. This has gotten bigger, this little plastic thing. Um, I know some people like it, some people don't. I don't care. The rubber ones are fine. This is, I think, a little nicer version. There is a back uh, to a full leather handle here, and again, a leather cuff here. And again, we talked about the tops, uh, their top that we, I really, really like. Pocket here, my, maybe my favorite in golf, um, this two, I call it my little envelope. This two section that you can put your uh, GPS or your laser range finder or your phone or your wallet or your keys or everything like I do kind of with mine. Again, love this leather handle. It, it, it's so good. Um, such a great bag. Larger pocket here, which is really nothing new. There is that little mesh pocket in here. So like I put uh, my markers and stuff in there. You can take this off if you wanna put whatever you want. Um, your student ID, um, you know, uh, whatever. Whatever you want. <laughs> I was trying to think of something funny. Whatever you wanna put in there is fine. What I call the bat wings, the double magnet uh, bottle holders are back. I love these. See, the same kind of base uh, has the rubber, again, their name on it, and the rubber on both sides. The straps, I think these may be the most comfortable straps and certainly in the premium golf bag side of things. I know some bags I kind of laugh with that I feel like I'm wrestling an octopus when I put these on. Vessels are great. Um, their equilibrium system is probably one of the best, if not the best in golf. Um, really good. There is a little vessel branding here uh, that is embroidered for those who are asking. Again, full leather handle. I think I may have skipped over this. Full leather handle, leather underneath as well. And again, the beautiful uh, vessel in the shiny uh, material. Again, I like it a lot. So, so far, there's really no complaints with this golf bag. We flipped this guy around. And the biggest surprise for me, because I didn't have a pro, was the finish of this. So if I look at my four, and this is again the non-pro, it has like a neoprene material where this is the synthetic leather. This is a hundred times better. Uh, I mean, this one's better than this one for sure. Love this, I absolutely love this. You guys know, I think my only thing I would probably do differently, um, and I, I, not that I would do differently, is I would like to unzip this thing where I could put my um, rain hood in there, but. I'm the only one who cares about that. So two pockets here. This is a super cooler line, it's huge. I think we put five or six bottles of water in here to test it, really good. It does come with, I just left it in the other room, but a full size um, rain hood. The thing I will tell you, which I thought was interesting, um, it has only four snaps on it. And then it has a kind of a pull uh, to tighten this up. A little different, I, I don't hate it, it's fine. Again, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of using these things anyway, um, but there are times I know when I'm out and about in rain, I wish I had it. But really nice, no fa nothing fancy on there. 
So we look at that. Again, this zipper pocket we talked about, all cooler lined. Again, another great pocket, and this is huge. This whole, this is not velour lined, but another great place to put whatever, golf balls, tees, uh, gloves, whatever you want. Really, really good. Um, again, this little loop here to, to hang stuff on. Really good. We'll get into the belly. Carbon fiber legs. This is, you know, kind of adjustable. They don't want you to mess with it. But the beautiful carbon fiber legs. The feet are fine, just what they are. And then it has kind of the little tough guard here. Um, and then it has kind of where the bag expands. And I'll just show you your expands. When it opens, it closes. Kind of, I'll show you. Beep. Beep. Okay. So, and it also has... Um, the bungee cord if you want to tie it down so your feet, uh, so the legs don't extend out. So overall, because the million dollar question is, what do I think of this golf bag? Obviously we've reviewed a ton of golf bags. Um, Vessel to me is always in the top three, let's say, best golf bags in the last several of years. The million dollar question, where do I rank this golf bag? Um, I would say as it stands, it's the best golf bag you can buy. Now, that being said, it's a $479 or $89 price point, so not cheap. What I would do, and if you're watching this in November before Black Friday, two things. One is, I would say financially, wait until Black Friday when they have their promotion. However, what's happened in the summer is the same thing that will probably happen in November, where these sell out. Um, my point is, if there's a certain color you want, I wouldn't wait forever um, because I think they do 20%, which is you know $100 off one of these golf bags. I think it's a great promotion. I get no accolades or attaboys or commission or anything from anybody. But I would ask you guys, if you order one, let them know Modern. you watched our review on Modern Golf just so. So I think it's my favorite golf bag to date. Um, when I originally did the, the uh, three, it was my favorite golf bag. I, obviously, I've done a lot of golf bag reviews. People are going to tell me this bag brand is better. This one, I, what I'm going to tell you is this is the the, the nicest. I don't want to say fanciest because that's going to rub people the wrong way. This is the nicest quality golf bag there is in the marketplace today. Um, and I love other brands. I'm not going to get into that today. I think if you want the best golf bag. Um, that has Lux written all over it, this is the golf bag to get. Um, I just think it's really that good. Yes, you can walk with it. Yes, you can put on a power cart. Yes, you can. Five Pro, there, this, is, this is jammed with so much good stuff, it's almost incredible. Um, the leather pull handles, the details, um, they've really gone out and made this an amazing golf bag. Um, so, all right, I'm gonna quit rambling. Anything else you guys want to see, let us know. Again, I will do some neat comparisons coming up with these guys and other brands here in the very near future because I know that's what you guys want to see. Um, but yes, I absolutely love this. If I was giving this a score out of 10s, it's a 10. Congrats to Vessel again and their team. It's an amazing product. Um, and they are, again, as I've always felt from day one, these guys are bar setters. And so they had set the bar very high. Other brands have kind of tried to compete. Vessel is again resetting that bar. So very cool, I'm very excited. I think you guys will love this when you guys get your hands on it. Um, the only thing I would like to see, and I bug them all the time about, is I'd like to see more limited edition colors, like bright colors. I know they do stuff for G4. Um, so anyway guys, let me know if there's anything you wanna see, any questions on this bag, and again, we will talk with you soon. Thanks guys.